Hey guys, it's your host Jay and welcome back to my channel. Today it's official. I can finally share with you the big reveal of the before and after of our kitchen. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm filming a portion of this video in my bedroom because I don't want to blind you guys like I did in the last video. One woman show. I'm not too good at all this lighting and camera action stuff. So anyway, let's go check out that kitchen. So here it is guys, the new kitchen. As you can see, we expanded it over here. We have lots and lots of storage. Many of the cabinets are actually empty because we donated a lot of stuff and gave things away. Ready for Steve's very impressive organization skills? Let's see, this is our breakfast drawer. As you can see here, we have to possibly make a cut in the face for our little breakfast nook. And all of these drawers in the pantry pull out so we can see what we got going on in here more easily and we don't have to reach all the way in the back. This is one of the cooler drawers. Our little charging station for all our electronics, for the cameras, the iPads, and our appliance section so we can have nice clear clean countertops which also pull out super cool okay let's see what other fancy things we got going on everything's nice and organized we got our little glasses section wine our plates everything is so very well organized and this is very very great for when we rent out our place. The other cool little drawer for our phones to be charging. So Steve found these awesome little dividers on Amazon. You just pop them in, as you can see here, and has a little loaded spring in it. So you can quickly make your drawer look all fancy and divided. And surprisingly, totally matches the the look of the drawer inside. So we got these cabinets at Home Depot, like I mentioned in another video, and they had different handles that came with them, but Steve found these also on Amazon and put these in instead. And we like the look much better, more clean. Our sink that I love, nice big sink. Believe it or not, the sink and faucet came as a combo. I think it was actually under $200, but it's awesome little combo. This is the money drawer that I love. So we bought this little display rack on Amazon. I think it was 25 bucks. And so we can have all our little spices 
like this versus shoved in a cabinet and we're always moving spices in and out of the way to find what we like. So everything's nice and organized. This is my caffeine section. So all the little coffees and teas. And then down below, yes, it is labeled. So a lot of these cabinets aren't really being used. Like I said, we don't have too much stuff and we don't wanna have too much stuff for when we rent out the place. But this is our little cleaning section. Very cool. And then the little grand finale. One of my favorite little gadgets in here is this guy. So Steve opened this up, put a magnet inside here, put a magnet in here, and now we have a remote control wall plate for our under counter lighting. And what is so fun about these lights, let me give you guys the grand view. Let's see. Ooh. The great debate right now, let me zoom out so you guys can have a full look. We would like to get a couple of bar stools here. Um, so you could eat here if you'd like at the island. Steve is wanting white bar stools. I'm saying dark espresso bar stools. So I'm curious what you guys think. Any of my little designer eyes out there, what do you guys think would be better? The white to match the countertops or the espresso to match the cabinets? Because I feel like the espresso would hide in there a little bit. He thinks the accent of the white stools would be nicer. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think so we can make a decision on that. Our old kitchen was falling apart, particle board. I believe it even was from the original owners and our house is very, very, very old. It, it does need quite a bit of work and our goal was always the kitchen to go first. So our next project, is the exterior of the house because we were walking around our neighborhood and realized we officially have the oldest looking house in the neighborhood. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. As you all know, I'm always grateful for you guys tuning in. So if you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. And if you want to see more videos of mine where I talk about Kauai and travel and hosting and financing and all sorts of different things going on in my life, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. About the kitchen? So, um, if you look down here, it's wood, but then if you go kind of to the side, it's the metal. <laughs> It's very organized. What, what about the spices? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun.